So, this must be Garland's haunted mansion. Talk about bad taste in interior decorating. All right, time to teach this tyrant a thing or two. So we meet again. <laughs> Who are you? Twelve years ago, I lost one of my most prized genomes. I created him and sent him to Gaia to disrupt the cycle of souls there. You are that genome. I am glad you have returned. Shut up! Nobody tells me what to do. And I didn't come here to answer to you. Let me guess. You must be Garland. And what if I am? Then you're going down. But first, you're gonna tell me everything. Like, why did I grow up on Gaia? And why do you want to destroy it? I have no intention of destroying Gaia. I only wish to make Gaia into Terra. What did you just say? Of course not everything went as planned. You growing up on Gaia, for example. There is another one built as you were. He may be the one who threw a wrench into my gears. He? Who the heck are you talking about? Someone you know quite well. Follow me. The time when the aura of Gaia will turn to the crimson glow of Terra has not yet come. I may need your help anyway. Stop! Now tell me everything! I constructed the genomes to be vessels for the souls of the people of Terra when they awaken. But 24 years ago, I gave life to a genome that was very much like you. His will was too strong to make him into a proper vessel, and I even considered discarding him. But then I thought that I should put his strength to use. I sent the genome as my servant to disrupt the cycle of souls on Gaia. Yeah, so tell me who he is already! Do you not yet know? You and he are so much alike. Alike? I've never met anyone like me. You judge only by appearances. I mean someone with a soul similar to yours. The one I sent to Gaia might also be called your brother. And his name is Kuja. Kuja? He's a genome? I impossible! He doesn't even have a tail! He is only hiding it. He denies his own identity. He rejects the meaning of his existence and tries to assert his own individuality. Don't you see the resemblance? Shut up! I'm not like him at all. He said the same thing when speaking about the other genomes. I'm not like these guys! His ambition was unbecoming of a genome, but it was perfect for the mission I gave him. To bring war and chaos to Gaia. That was what I sent him to do. To induce an unnaturally chaotic flow. So then, why? The disruption of the flow of souls is best brought about by war. And what he did for me far exceeded my greatest expectations. What about me? How did I end up on Gaia? 
When you received the gift of life in Bran Ball, Kuja could not bear it. He could not bear to see a genome with more power than his own. He felt threatened. Kuja discarded you. He dropped you onto Gaia, the world he would destroy. So I was to be your slave, just like Kuja, to start a war on Gaia? That is correct. I did not expect Kuja to abandon you, but I believed it was his nature. And to him, bringing war to Gaia would prove his victory over you. Perhaps it is because of his desire to justify his existence that he let you live as well. So that's why the blood of thousands had to be spilled? Are you referring to Kuja's ambition or to our plan to disrupt the cycle of souls? Both! And, and what exactly do you gain by disrupting that cycle of souls or whatever? We must sort the souls. I want to disrupt Gaia's cycle and drain its souls, filling the void with the souls of Terra. To speed the cycle of souls is to speed the work as a whole, thus war. And in time, Gaia's souls are gone, and Gaia becomes Terra. But... Uh, how? You saw it with your own eyes. You saw the Aoife tree and the mist it emits. The role of the Aoife tree is that of Soul Divider. The mist you see comprises the stagnant souls of Gaia. Oh yeah? But we stopped the mist. So much for that. All you saw was the back of the tree. Even now, the Aoife tree blocks the flow of Gaia's souls while it lets those of Terra flow freely. Come and see for yourself. See the true form of this planet. What is this? Think of it as an observatory. A place to measure the radiance of Gaia and Terra. What are you talking about? And what is this weird light? That is the center of the planet. The end and the beginning of the cycle of souls. The light remains Gaia's for now. But when the blue changes to crimson, all will belong to Terra, and its restoration will be complete. That is why I wrapped up the light in the Aoife tree, to prevent the cycle of the judgment of souls on Gaia from inside the planet. Such is the Aoife tree's true purpose, its true form. All you saw was its material form. The flow of Gaia's souls cannot be changed simply by stopping the disposal of mist. So, Kuja is just an angel of death who sends souls to the Tree of Aoife. Yes, my angel of death. But only until you came of age. What do you mean? His soul is not eternal. I was going to create you next, after all. You mean you won't need Kuja's soul once I grow stronger than him? Precisely. Soon, that time will come. <sighs> well, now you should be fully aware of the meaning of your existence. Hmm? Yeah, I'm aware of all the laughter and all the tears I've shared with the people I grew up with. On Gaia. Forget all that. You are destined to live among the stars for all eternity. You have the power, the position, and the motive to do it. I wouldn't want that kind of power. If only I had a place to call home. My brothers in Tantalus. Vivi, Freya, Amarant, Kina, Steiner, Aiko, and Dagger. My home is with them, in Gaia. If you say I have a motive, then it's to punish all of you who brought pain to my friends. I'll destroy Terra! That's reason enough for my birth here as a genome. <sighs> Regrettable. I thought your soul would be perfect for a new angel of death. 
I am the new angel of death. Yours! Don't you know what it means to meet your maker? Shut up! I've heard enough of your crap! I'm taking you out right here, right now! Foolishness. The body becomes, becomes a vessel, vessel which, which creates a new soul. What's happening to... He's too good to make into a regular genome. But I have no choice. I can't believe I actually returned to this place, but soon, soon the power will be mine alone. <laughs> Just you wait, Garland, and you too, Zidane. I'll exact sweet revenge upon you both for insulting me. I'll make the people of both Gaia and Terra know who rules over all of them. Ha. Uh. Ha <laughs> ha